welcome to day two of the McLaren boys trip 2019. So um, we just got up, having some breakfast. Last night we went to bed fairly early. After I spoke to you last, we played a game of cards and then hit the sack. Um, so this morning we just decided that we're going to... A game of cards in which I won comprehensively. But if you're, hold, if you're holding up. the paper upside down. <laughs> yeah, okay, he lost. Um, so we're just rejigging the car because packing was really rushed. So we've just, and it ended up really messy, which you might've seen yesterday. So um, we've decided to move a few things around. The boys have made a big call. They said they can cope with each other sitting right next to each other in the middle two seats, which is dangerous, but we're going to give it a go. And that way we can move the fridge to where Gus, where Locke was sitting, just to make it, um, just to give us a bit more room to put other stuff. And so um, the place we stayed tonight, it's got some camp, it's got some, um, they had firewood. So we're gonna get a couple bags of that because we're not gonna have much firewood once we hit the desert. Um, and it should be pretty good from there. We're just re-strapping everything down onto the roof, rolling up swags, bridging the car, and then we'll be hitting the road. All right, so we have just finished packing up and just hit the road. It took us a long time to reorganize the car. But you know what, that's okay. We're on the road, we're just gonna look forward now. Um, so as you see, the boys are squashed up there in the back. They're very close together. And then we've dropped this seat so that we can fit more stuff in. Um, we got a bag of firewood up on the roof extra tonight. And um, we've got the, jerry, the uh, water jerry cans in a place where we're gonna set up a little plumbing thing that I'll show you later. Um, for now, we've just gone through Yule Bar, which is where we pulled up outside last night at Judd's Lagoon. Um, so that was a pretty good camping spot, had a nice little fire. Um, yeah, so where are we trying to get to today? Longreach. Trying to get to Longreach today, which is exciting. Longreach is a fair old drive away. So Longreach is eight hours and 55 minutes away. So that's around 758 kilometers to go. But you know, it should be pretty good. Um, it's just bitumen most of the way, isn't it? All the way, bitumen, that's easy driving. Then, um, so that's 100, 110 the whole way down the highway, which is awesome. And um, we might have a couple stops along the way, but we'll try and keep it to a minimum so that we set up in the light again. But until then, we will talk to you later. So something's just happened. Something very exciting just happened. Um, we thought the Mitchell would be a big town and it was supposed to be our last big stop before we um, before we hit the Plenty Highway and out to Uluru and stuff like that. Because yesterday we decided we'd try and work out whether we could get some extra roof rack equipment. And, uh, and it's like, oh yeah, there's a roof rack world at uh, Mitchell, Dad. It's all good. No, okay, no, but- So no. I'm thinking, Mm, if there's a roof rack world in Mitchell, that's going to be a pretty big town. Oh yeah, anyway, that's irrelevant. Back to the story. So we get here and turns out it's just like a one street town with a population of a thousand people and it's not big at all. So we are out of big towns until we hit Alice Springs, which is like a long way away. <laughs> it's like a few days away. So um, it's going to be fairly lean for us from here on in. But that's anyway, we love it. Yeah, it'll be all right. We um, did a bad. But that happens on trips like these. Sometimes we make mistakes. And sometimes just because Mitchell is also a suburb in Canberra doesn't mean that this one mightn't have had a uh, roof rack city. Like, what if we got here and there was a roof rack city? Then we wouldn't be having this conversation. No, we wouldn't. All right, let's go. Quick 
update. So um, we just got out of where were we? Morven. Morven. We just got out of Morven, and um, we're on the road now going on our way to Long Reach. Hopefully there won't be too many stops now. We just had to fuel up, so that was a bit of an inconvenience, but that's okay. Um, boys that look pretty comfy in the back there. Don't look at them there. They're always very happy to see you. Brad's been driving all day now and he's loving it. We've just hit a new road, which is always very exciting, so we don't know what's happening, don't know where it's gonna go. There's not as many cars anymore, which means we're getting away from a lot of things, which is exciting on our way to nowhere, which is pretty good. We've got a rest area coming up. We're on our way to Augathella. Um, then from Augathella we're going through... Barcolden. We're going through where? Barcolden. Barcolden. And then Longreach. And then Longreach. And then from Longreach tomorrow we'll be off to Booyah. And then we'll be hitting the plenty. So that's getting very close, which is good. Longreach will be a stay on the, um, stay in a campground again. Then Booyah will be a pub night and then plenty highway. Okay, so we're 750 k's down the road from where we started. We made it to Long Reach, and that was our goal. So we're really happy with that. Um, we're staying in a caravan park tonight, staying in a tourist park, just because we would like to have a shower and clean up before we hit the plenty. Um, tomorrow's aim is to make it to Bullio, which shouldn't be too much of an issue. How far away is that? Uh, 540, I think. Yeah, that's five, only a bit over 500 k's away, so that's a pretty easy drive. We've um, we spent the day going through a fair bit of Western Queensland, which was an interesting drive. We um, managed, we got to see a lot of old heritage um, towns. All of them had um, bits of machinery out their front, and they um, all had their own little bit of history, which was really good to read about on the way through. Saw some, um, saw some interesting vehicles on the way there. A couple of massive trucks, a couple of old, old cars, which was good to see. Um, are you boys gonna like wake up or are you still okay? So yeah, we're just about to go check into the uh, caravan park and we'll talk to you later. We just got a Okay, quick check in. We've just finished setting up camp at the caravan park. We've completely rejig the inside of the car so it's all pretty good now um we're just roll unrolling swags about to get dinner ready might go for a swim because there's a pool here and then um have a shower freshen up for the morning which will be awesome we've um we've got it all set up couldn't time lapse it for you today because uh it was caravan park on a limited on space and tomorrow night we'll be staying at a pub so the next one will be in a couple of days uh, Gusso's here, just doing his thing, give us a wave. Brad, give us a wave. Nice. Yeah, so the inside of the car's looking good. Fridge is out here on power, which is, means we'll have nice cold drinks for tonight. Uh, table's out here, everything's just about to get ready for dinner. And we'll talk to you later. Right, so after a long day of driving, we've done over 700 k's today, which is pretty good. Uh, I should stop saying which is pretty now, which was our goal, so we've made that, that's pretty good. And I said it again, all had, um, oh, what did they all have? Some of the old vintage machinery. All had some of the old vintage machinery out the front, which is pretty awesome to see all that. Shut up, Brett. I'm, no, I'm doing that again. And I shuffled smile, boys. Well. Boys, Innes, smile. Innes. Innes. What are the chances? What are the chances? 